Welcome back to the Rebirth. Now that we have a solid companion, it's time to work on industry. When are we gonna stop for some chow? But first, there's a few chores around town that I'd like to perform, like snagging that airdrop we missed yesterday, picking up that shredder from the day before, and doing a mission for the Black Shields in return for the furnace schematic. The team has been deployed, we've just been waiting on you, but now it's go time. So we've added a voice for Dank Gene, so hopefully we'll get to know him a little bit better as time goes by today. And the other thing is that there's a new feature that we can put our companions out if they catch on fire, but you have to have either boiled water or distilled water on your inventory in order to do that. Last night, I did make the mortar and pestle, and I also captured a chicken. And the other thing to report is that uh, a wandering horde came by after I had concluded the recording. And so, it was a horde full of these shock immune zombies. So they just like looked like they were being electrocuted by an electric fence. But I did pick up some shock immune remains off of them. Unfortunately, I thought I was recording when it all happened, but <laughs> I was not. So, I don't know. We fought them out back here, and it wasn't much of a to-do, but... Uh, hopefully we'll see some more of those in the future. In terms of the chicken, let's set up a chicken coop here in the bathroom. And what name did we get for you? Aviv? Is that how I would say that? Or, um, Ivif? Nice. Well, you're gonna live in the bathroom, Ivif. Dank, you don't have to live in there with the chicken. Why don't you come back out here? Of course, I can just, um, I can hit the backspace button and he just, like, teleports right to me. Okay, so, mortar and pestle. Oh, it's a little teeny tiny one. I was used to the one from War of the Walkers, which was a lot bigger. And this is gonna be for, oh yeah, gunpowder, okay. Charcoal. Oh, the Prussian blue powder, right, because that's, um, that makes some kind of a remedy that removes radioactive poisoning. So next time we go into the wasteland, it might be a good idea to have a couple of those. Oh, that uses the coffee beans. Okay, let's just make, like, one. Start that, oh, that's fast. Prussian blue remedy, oh, that needs the distiller, okay. Oh, well, that's actually, we could make it once we get the distiller, okay, okay learning things as I go along here. Put that away, and uh, the last thing I want to do before we head out is we've got to accept the missions here, because I think we're level 10 now, so we can just, you know, read these, and uh, I want to complete this one here, at least before the end of the day. So basically we're trying to, oh, kill the leader. We're trying to get rid of some toxic zombies before they contaminate the area. Oh, that gave me the Prussian blue remedy, just preemptively, because they are going to be toxic zombies. And then the faction war. Oh, this is a mission for the traitor network, and they're deciding to bring the fight to the Black Shields. Okay, watch for their cyborg. They're dangerous. If I manage to kill it, make sure to check what it may be carrying with it. Oh, we've got to go kill a cyborg, a Black Shield cyborg. Man, so the Black Shields are dabbling in cyborg technology. The traitor network is dabbling in cloaking technology. It's like a post-apocalyptic arms race. Don't worry, my friend. Oh, there it is right there. <laughs> oh, that's a, such a good voice. Okay, so I'm all packed up and ready to go. What is first on the agenda today? Let's first head into town to where that passing gas was. I think that was here. And we're gonna pick up the shredder that's over there. So I'll meet you there. Okay, here we are. Once I got out here, I realized that that is definitely not where the passing gas is. Here it is right here. While we're here, I suppose, we can check the vending machine. Oh, I was expecting to see candy there, but there is no candy. No more candy. Okay, we're just gonna jump in here. Should be no zombies. And we're going to take this. Oh, that just totally worked in one swipe. Now we have... So it's, like, damaged, I guess, now. We have a repairable shredder, which we use to make the shredder out of forged iron, electrical parts, mechanical parts, screws. Not too bad, I guess. Is there anything else in here I can have? What about this generator over here? This is a working generator, so presumably, yes, I can just take that with me and we can repair that with pretty much the same thing as the other, as the shredder. Whoa! Okay, I think we're done in here. But now that I'm looking at it, this is the gaming den, and I remember there's like a whole floor of computers up there, so... I figured what we could do right now is check and see how, what's the value of a computer? Maybe we could just take all the computers with us and go sell them at the trader. And wow, we got a lot of zombies here. Let's now take the mind control brew. And we gotta get some zombies onto our side here. Like this guy. Help! Oh boy. Oh, it's not good. Not good at all. Get out of here. What are you... What are you trying to hit me for? Oh, he's trying to hit me, but he... Oh, gee, dang. Oh, why are you trying to hit me? Oh, this guy's kind of... Not working very well. There we go. Kill him. Put him out of his misery. Okay, I don't think I can get a shock immune zombie. I don't think I have the skill for that, but I'll try it. 
Oh, that did work. Nice, there we go. Yeah, go run and kill them. Okay, so that mind control brew works for five minutes, so I can just run through here and turn any zombies that I want. Let's um head upstairs then. Actually, let's come out here. Dank, you stay put, because I don't want you wrecking everything. Stay where you're standing. Yeah, and that zombie has gone back to being a regular zombie, not under my control. Whoops, oh, he shot the vending machine. Good job, buddy. All right, heal up a little bit. Oh, I'm infected too, great. Now let's just head up here and turn a couple of zombies onto my side. Who, who did that? Of course, crawler right there, sneaking through the freaking railing. Actually, I want this guy, zombie Emmett. He's, ow, pretty strong, there we go. Yes, go fight for me. I'm gonna end up using all my bandages, which reminds me, let's scrap down the clothing there and make some regular bandages because those regular bandages actually give you back hit points. Okay, a couple more. Let's try businessman. I like how they grow a little bit. They become a taller zombie. Man, zombie Emmett is freaking strong. There we go. Businessman's properly not trying to kill me. But he will probably in just a second. There he goes. Excellent. So, get a little bit of loot and let's see how much these are worth. Looks like, ooh, $51 for the whole combo set. Nice. Give me all of these then. Good deal. And there's a main loot here and a weapons bag behind me. So, ooh, nice crossbow too. And not much in there, but yeah, this looks like the the old crossbow is doing way way more damage That's the one that I got from the witch doctor bundle. So yeah, put that one away. Still got a couple more PCs down here Oh and check this out. Oh no two non-working vending machines We'll have to take them apart then and a little bit of cash in the register there. All right, man I think we're good here. Follow me. I'm ready to move out just give the order. Let's go then. Next stop, we are heading to the western edge of town because that's where I remember the airdrop landing. It was about 400 meters from the pharmacy to the west. And so should be right over here somewhere. It should pop up on the compass or the map at some point. We'll be able to snag that. Not much in there. Okay, I'll meet you there. Very interested to see what we can pull out of these types of things. Oh, got a survivor over there with a wooden bow. Hang on, we'll get this first. Ranged mods bundle. I'll open that later, and then that was just some crappy food. Okay, so the, probably just like typical stuff that you usually get in the airdrops. All right, where's this guy? Here he is, fighting a soldier. Dank, kill him. Oh, also, <laughs> I can't move because I'm very encumbered. There we go. All right, grab up the explosive remains, and uh, is it Sun Honey Sage? Sun Honey Sage is taken off into the distance. That's fair. I, I can't really do any chasing right now. We've got to go back to the base and stash all the loot. All right, so I stopped by the house there and picked up all the sellables, dropped off all the loot, and now we're here to do the big sell-off and see how much we made on all those computers we took up from the gaming den. And while I'm at it, I'll grab another job from the trader. We're into the tier twos now, so let's see here. What looks what looks to be something good that we could do? The fetch to the drive-in movie theater, which is actually just to the north. I think we could do that. Is it north or no? It's just, it's right down here, right next to the wasteland. In fact, partially in the wasteland there, so might be a little bit risky doing that, but it should pay off. Oh, and I just remembered I have a super infection, so we are gonna sell off and then we're gonna try and fix that. And yep, made about 2,600 there, not too bad. He doesn't want the running shoes, <laughs> I don't blame him. And it would appear as though he has restocked, so there's a bit of a selection to go through here. Okay, so after having a look here, I think the one thing that I want to probably get is the beaker, because I don't know how rare that's gonna be, so let's just purchase one of those. And he does have an antibiotic. It's very expensive though. I'm gonna need it though because my infection is at 6%, so we would need more than one honey anyway. Take that before I forget it, and at this point, I think we're ready to do that mission for the furnace. Oh, hello there. Shelby, is that you? It's Shelby! Shelby's still hanging out here, that's so cool. Shelby, you are, I wish I could hire you. If you stick around long enough, I'll definitely be back to grab you up, for sure. And uh, speaking of that, do you think maybe you could follow me for a second? I'll bring you over with me to, to, uh, what are we doing here again? Right, the, oh no, this is for the gas stove faction wars. Isn't that the one with the cyborg? Anyway, crap, that's not the one we really want. We want the furnace. We're gonna have to maybe, what time is it? It is 1630. Crap, it's gonna be too late probably to do that. We might have to just swing back there and do it again tomorrow to do the other mission to get the furnace. 
kind of a bummer, but I'm already here now, so we might as well complete this one. All right, uh, here we are. Let's just um, make sure that the bicycle is in a good position to get us out of here. And dank jeans, where'd you go? There you are, okay. Got my back, so let's make our way in. The it said faction wars, so there may be some black shields, there may be some bandits, there may be more zombies, there may- I don't know what to freaking expect here. Ow! Mr. Jeans, watch your back, please. Good stuff. Okay, more incoming. Zombie skeleton. Ooh, look out. There we go. And make sure we take the clothing off of these guys, because we need the, uh, the cloth to make more bandages. These are a, like, prized possession now. Just make sure we're topped off. And, uh, yeah, we're just gonna go guns a-blazing for this one. And hit it! We gotta get this gas stove, baby! Okay, so... Our target is way over there. For now, we're gonna deal with the zombies. Get him, Dank! We've got bandits rolling in as well. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, we've got the aces here. We also have some black shields here. Oh, crap, I'm getting roughed up. So is Dank. Jeez, I saw him healing there a second ago. All right. <laughs> He's got some brains in his mouth. Look out, Dank! I'm setting him on fire. Ow! And heal, heal, heal. Oh, here he is! Who is this? Roxy? Roxy Taylor John the Cyborg. I don't know about Cyborg. That guy is like fully mechanical. Oh! Dank Jeans is on fire! Hit, hit backspace, that'll put him out. Nice. Yeah, Dank Jeans is about 50% health right now. That's not loaded. Great. Okay, oh my god, he chopped my freaking arm off. More bandits over here, look out. I can't tell who's friend and who's foe. That big guy is definitely foe though. Okay, and we gotta heal up now. Cover me, Dank, I gotta heal up for a second here. Okay, take you out, take this guy out, and now I think we can all focus on Roxy here. Roxy the Cyborg, I want this kill, baby. This is mine. Get him. Yes. Okay, they said search the body. Ooh, body disappeared quickly. Not much there. And here's our gas stove top schematic. Okay, cool. Ooh, that was a tense one there. Oh my god, another wandering horde. Crap, we gotta help out our friends here. Look out! I got the fire! Take that! Oh, I'm gonna set that whole barn on fire as well. <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. Take that! Ow! I, I think I'm taking a preference for helping the black shields, but I don't know yet. I think we're with the black shields here. I haven't had a chance to kind of introduce myself to him yet. Holy crap! That's a thug, though! One of the aces! And he's got a wicked pump shotgun. Can I have that, maybe? Did he, is he gonna drop the pump shot? He dropped the pump shotgun for me. Holy, this guy's got a, a tactical assault rifle or something. Hide me! I'm in too bad a shape to, uh, I'm, uh to fight right now. <laughs> well, losing my mind. There's a good tack assault rifle. Huge upgrade over the pipe machine gun. But man, I paid for it. Just give me all the bandages. We'll make some more when we get home tonight. And a screamer. We don't want that. Not here in the wasteland, anyway. Yep, she screamed. Great. Okay, just get the loot and let's get out of here. Not bad. Okay. No, oh, no, no, no! There's some kind of an event! This is bad! Oh, out of ammo! Get the crossbow! Dank, come with me, buddy! We've got to get into position to leave, although we've got cover- We've got some help from the black shields. Oh, legendary zombie incoming! That's Pascal Forster, I think. Yes, it is. Oh, man. Get get out. Ow. Oh, there's one of those electrified zombies, I think. Uh, Dank, are you okay, buddy? Declan's trying to blow the friggin' vehicle up. <laughs> Dank's got more zombie brain in his mouth. Not sure why I'm searching that right now, but I'm going to. Holy crap, guys. Uh, try not to blow everybody up, but it's gonna be kind of hard, honestly. Here, this should help these guys. And leave that for them and leave. Nope, I think I ran away too fast. We're working our way through them. Okay, we're getting there. They're tanking Pascal really well. Asher is almost dead. And so is this other guy, Dylan. <laughs> yep, that's right, take him out. Oh, we've got a knockdown. Pull my arrow out of his spinal cord. Okay, we've lost one of the survivors there. There's a crossbow bolt. 
No, no, no. Asher, no! Oh, I was... That was just a second too late there to, to save him. Okay, we gotta grab that before it disappears. Oh, there's all kinds of good stuff in there. Oh, ow! Buddy, leave me alone. What a friggin' massacre this has been. Holy crap. Zombie Wesley here. Grab up all the clothing. Like I said before, we need the bandages. I'm also encumbered, so careful. We don't want to take too much stuff with us. So that was a combination of a faction war, a legendary zombie horde, and a screamer horde, as well as probably just a lot of rando bandits and zombies that might have just heard the commotion and <laughs> tried to take the opportunity to kill us. I'm bloody starving. When are we gonna stop for some chow? Well, the brains in your mouth weren't enough for you or what? Okay, that'll just about do it for me. I think we're fine here. Did I get any sort of critical <laughs> injuries there? I think my infection is still healing. So we're good, let's get out of here. 1940 it is now. Do you think we can blow right through here? It's only a tier two. I'd say it's probably worth a try. Just get a couple more bandages here. I think I can make some more just in the inventory. Just kind of max me out on that. And yeah, let's try this. Uh, hang on though, still encumbered. Let's just drop some crap here in the bike. Really, I just have these shoes because I want to. What is this? A katana? Holy cow, that's cool. Motorcycle handlebars, also a generic perk book, retracting stock mode. Okay, get rid of all that stuff, stock up the bike. Ooh, look at this, a strength DNA boost as well. Oh, and that attack assault rifle, we need that immediately. Take all, I had four mods on that pipe machine gun there. How many can I put onto this one? Another four, perfect. Although that's a single group mod for that, which is not the best, but uh, I'll hold on to it for now. We'll just have like a regular semi-rifle. All right, and uh, are we good then? No, I want to look at that katana. Oh, wow. What is, what's the damage on this compared to let's see, 36 and 72 compared to... Uh, it's far better than the, the rusty sickle here, but we have to level up the sickle in order to level up the witch doctor. And we almost are leveled up in that, so... All right, hit this. We're wasting time here. Stir up the zombies. We've got birds already. And that's out of ammo. Oh, that's not loaded. Dang jeans, you're supposed to be telling me to load my guns and stuff. Whoa. Oh, got some more brains in his mouth. Alright, hold up then. We gotta we gotta heal. I I getting a little bit ahead of myself here. Slow down, slow down. We got a little bit of time here. We got a couple of hours. We could just stir these zombies up and kill them all. Or no, we just have to retrieve the supplies, which are right over here, actually. They're right inside this building. In here? Oh yes, right there, perfect. That's all we needed. And my charisma just increased because I think I've completed the mission. I don't have to turn it in in order to get that charisma boost. So I think a couple of days ago I had crafted a charismatic nature perk book, but I couldn't read it because my, char my um, charisma wasn't high enough. My charisma has to be level two which it is now, so I think I can read that book now and then I can put my charismatic nature glasses on to boost up my uh, my skill in charismatic nature. Is this making any sense at all? <laughs> Basically, I think I can, I can hire a second NPC now, as long as I have the money. So let's get out of here. Let's call it quits here. It's almost nightfall. I wanna go home. Oh, and now that I'm at the trader, I heard, oh, these have stuff in them. All kinds of repair kits, firearm repair kits for 450. It's not too bad. Do I need one right now? No, I think I'm good. I think that the crossbow takes a regular repair kit, so... Are these all just the same thing? Yeah. Okay, so you get your repair kits out of there, FYI. See what we get for a reward for our first tier two. And I do believe I had the Daring Adventurer glasses on. I think I'm wearing those by default right now. What do we want here? Really nothing good, but I'll take the 9 mil. That'll help us out around Horde Night. And a new job. There's a rest area desert. Well. Very nearby, I'll take that. Sure. Okay, all right, I'm eager to go home now and test out my theory that I can get to the point where I can hire two NPCs. Whoa, there's an NPC right there. Who is that? Oh, somebody's fighting a wolf. Let's go help him out. All right, open fire. Oh, they're on the other side of the fence. Winter Steel. Winter Steel, that's a cool name. If only you didn't have a machete. I do like the outfit as well. Hey, there we go. You guys were just like locked in face-to-face -face combat. Oh, who is that? That's a freaking zombie uh, demon, actually. Whoa! Let's take this guy out. 
Oh, look, he's going to do the same thing. He's going to be hung up on the fence. Holy crap. Allison Anderson is a tough one. Ripped right through. Oh, my God. There's more zombies here. Um, holy crap. This is bad. Where did all these freaking zombies come from? Come on. Help. They take them out. Take them out. Take them out. Steel is uh, was tanking one of them for us. That's pretty cool. And ow. Oh, get back. Jeez, man. There's just no reprieve here in Rebirth, is there? Just balls to the wall all the friggin' time. You gotta be on your game 24-7. Alright, where's the boss? Because the boss might have some, like, money on him or something. Is that how it works? Was this this, this guy? Or is he already dead? Or uh, No, here he is. Zombie leader. Legendary zombie. $304. We got some zombies close to home. But, um, our guys are shooting at them. Oh, jeez. Wait for my heart rate to go back down. I'm gonna dry off my palms a little bit. Check the loot. And I think we're just about ready to head back home for the night. Get all nice and tucked in. It's the only place we're safe is at home. And, uh, Steel over there is just gonna be fighting zombies all night until he dies. Or until all the zombies die. Whichever comes first. Holy crap! What was that? Was that a demo? It, it had a definite, like, beeping and explosion. Oh my god, man. Great. We got we got to worry about mini demos or whatever the hell that was over there. Jeez Louise. Close the door. All right, so while the boys are working on the zombies outside, I'm going to start putting stuff away and getting organized, and we'll start thinking about a plan for tomorrow. All right, everything's been put away and organized now, so have a look at what I have here. So look at this. Charismatic nature training. I should be able to use this... To improve my charismatic nature to... I think that was to 1, because I didn't have the charismatic nature glasses on. Let's check that. Yes, it's level 1 now. So, if I then put on the charismatic nature sunglasses instead of the daring adventurer ones, that bumps it up to 2, meaning I can actually hire 2 survivors now. Okay, so here's the other thing. We put the daring adventurer glasses away now. Just put those in the dresser with the others. And we have a generic perk book. So let's... Look at the recipes for that. I was having a look. I think the one I want to do is Sexy T-Rex. So we'll craft that, but I don't think I can use it yet. Can I? No, I can't because my strength level is too low. So I, I got that part right. Let's hit recipes because I got the DNA boost for strength. We will craft that. My strength level has not been increasing very much because I think you probably would want to do some mining. So before we do any big mining projects, let's just get this into us. Use that, and then use Sexy T-Rex. Oh no, my strength level is too low still. We have to probably get level two then, is that right? Uh, no, it says strength level. Oh, that boost actually was was not uh, 100%. Okay, I, I was thinking that was higher. Okay, so we'll save the Sexy T-Rex one for later. That's fine, no big deal. We'll get our use out of it eventually. I also crafted up a whole bunch of bandages and first aid bandages. I've got $4,900 and I should be fed and well hydrated enough to move out. We're locked, we're loaded, we're ready to roll. Our destination is to the north. I'm not sure if this is gonna be... Starving. Um, when are we gonna stop some chow? I've already had chow. I don't know. Snooze, you lose, I guess. I don't know if that's gonna be snow biome or temperate biome or wasteland biome or what, but I'll meet you there. <gasps> Did you see that? That was a zombie grudge over there, I think. I just want to take a closer look because, oh, look how freaking huge he is. Wow. Oh, that POI is kind of full of zombies, too. Look how massive that guy is. Oh, jeez. That's terrifying. He's in the baseball field. I'm getting out of here. We'll let this guy here handle it. He looks like he's pretty good at fighting with a pipe rifle, I guess. <laughs> good luck, buddy. Okay, we've made it up over the northern edge of this river, and we are now heading straight to the furnace mission for the to kill the toxic zombies before they contaminate the... Presumably, this river is what they're looking to try to not contaminate with those zombies. All right, try to keep your wits about you. There could be enemies here anywhere. Holy crap. Yep, we're taking contact. Look out. Oh my god, multiple directions too. Let's just bail out behind this little barrier here. And uh, return some fire here. Nice. Down. And that guy's already dead. These guys were already taking care of business before we got here. He had another tack assault rifle and some blood. Just take the blood out of his veins real quick before he starts decomposing. Oh, 
Jeez, look out for those. Luckily, I think the bicycle frame absorbed most of that one. Okay, where's our mission here? There's a nice little gate there. I like that. Uh, where are we? Oh, we're over here. Not sure where that other bandit... Oh, no, no, no. I see him. He's right over there. Yep, yep. Just hide behind this little defilade here and... Return fire. It's Catlo. <laughs> Sorry, Catlo. That is what you get, though. You reap what you sow. Okay, another attack assault rifle. These, they sell for a little bit. We'll find out which one works the best eventually. Looks like this is the best one. Let's just switch that over since we're about to do the mission. Oh, we get an extra mod slot for that one too. Excellent. All right, sure reload. I'm on top of it, don't worry. Okay, the bicycle is here, right next. Ow! I don't suppose we should do the, the mind control brew because I think these are going to be like well, we could try it, I suppose. I don't know if they're gonna be like feral or radiated or what they're gonna be, but I'll try it. Take down a coffee as well, just for good measure. And this is it, are you ready? Let's just get a good weapon out. We'll start with the shotgun and uh, the reload speed is really bad on this. So I'm just gonna, you know, put the nine rounds down range and then I'll switch over to the tack assault rifle or something like that. Ready, buddy? Let's do this. Oh, right in front of us, right straight ahead over there. Real quickly then, get some fire onto him. That should loosen them up a little bit, and I'll just airburst one, just like that. Oh, perfect. That worked great. Another one. Good. We're doing fine here. Now it's just a matter of killing them all. Oh, the fire rate is so bad on this run. Oh, I killed just about. Okay, the shotgun's not going to be good for him because he's armored. And that's it, I think. We just got the one guy... Winter Steel apparently has converted to a zombie. Take him out. Nice. Search the body. Scrap the clothing. Search this. And we've got the furnace schematic. Nice. Wow, the uh, the air bursting pipe bombs worked a treat on that one. Yeah, I mean, we should have known better. Winter Steel was uh, not going to be able to handle that on his own last night. Don't worry, my friend. I've got your six. I'm counting on it. All right, we're all packed up and... I think we could probably try to clear that POI real quick. Our loot stage is 46, you know. Not not terribly good, but we can see what we can get here real fast. I know the POI quite well. It should be pretty easy to get through. All right, we just head in through the front door. There should be just a couple of zombies in here. Oh! I forgot that I had the mind control brew on. <laughs> nice. Yeah, gotta wait for the mind control brew to wear off. There we go. Whoa, just blast him. Well, in terms of chow, I just picked up a can of peas. Is that going to hold you over until we get back to the base, or do you need something else? I'll let you know if I find anything here. It's cat food. I got, got just the thing for you now. All right, this is where we have a bit of a fight on our hands. I'll just go ahead and turn one of you, and you can help me fight. Oh, ow. Look out. Got an abrasion. Unfortunately, I can't use the power attack now, because... It'll just turn the zombie. Now I, I gotta wait for this guy to turn back. And as soon as he does, I'm just gonna light him up. There we go. Alright, some free loot here. Excellent. Oh my goodness, that chem station is working too. My goodness, we could just take this with us. It's gonna be a repairable chemistry station, but it's better than nothing at all. And I'll just have these resources real quick while I'm at it. Good to go. There we go, some more cat food for you, Dank. All right, that reminds me, now that we have the chemistry station, what was the recipe going to be for the... F was it the furnace? Yeah, the furnace. Okay, this one you need the repairable furnace, otherwise really easy to make. This one you're going to need an empty rusty barrel iron oh, wooden planks. That's going to be an issue because we don't have the circular saw. Uh, ooh, that's a friggin' uh, empty barrel right there. Just take that with me. That's half the battle. Now we gotta get the circular saw, or some wooden planks. I just, I don't know where you get the wooden planks from. Is that harvestable or you've gotta make it? Maybe you get those from those like big long pallets. You know, the it's like plywood it looks like, big plywood pallets. Like not those pallets, but um, you know, the big, big ones, the new ones from Alpha 20. Oh, look at that, a reflex sight and a plush Prussian blue remedy there. Nice. Oh, you know, real quick though, before we head back home. Hello? Someone got a desert vulture over here. Actually, scratch that. Let's go check on this and see if it's a survivor. 
It is totally abandoned. No, thank you. Right, what I want to do is just grab up just a handful of iron, because there's some kind of a quest that, where we need to collect iron, and I'd like to just get it over with. Oh! Look out! Sorry, I can't really walk. Can you just come back here, please, before you get yourself killed? All right, now we can take him out. Yeah, I'm working on it. You're getting a little far ahead of me. Oh, jeez. That guy probably dropped a desert vulture. I'm gonna go get it. Oh, nice. We're stocking up on all the good guns. Not that we can really use them, because we're not really specced into them, but good to have anyway. There we go. I can't really tell if that's leveling up my strength or not. Okay, before we get distracted yet again, let's head back home. Oh boy, there's a freaking demon over here. Great. It is my purpose in life to freaking kill demons though, so I'm gonna hop out of here and I'm going to stash whatever I can in there and hopefully I can run now. A little bit better. Um, excuse me. Take this guy down, Cloud Z. Great. Oh, perfect name with a whole bunch of friends with them. Can we take him out, please? Uh-oh, I'm not running very fast right now. Great, holy crap, oh, no ammo. Um, we gotta get on the bike. We gotta get on the bike and get the frig out of here. Ow, holy crap, so many. Who's got a gun over here? I hear people shooting. These guys over here are gonna blow up the, uh... oh, is that another one? Yes, it is. We got another demon over here. Holy crap. My plan right now is to cluster them all together and hopefully kill them. Oh, did we lose that survivor? Yeah, he definitely looks like he's gone. If we can cluster them on the ambulances and blow them all up at the same time, that would be really, really cool. Okay, cluster them all together. Light them all on fire. Just get another one going over there. Yep. Buddy's on fire. Put him out, please. They are somehow pushing the ambulance. How is that happening? As Awit Para, I didn't catch the name though. There we go. Jeez. We've almost finished him up. Cloudsy still alive. Got him. Oh. Uh, Kenny, Kenny D. Kenny D, what's up, man? Are you new, or were you the guy that was over here to begin with? What the heck? There's just a freaking ambulance sitting here? Fully fueled? Holy cow, I found an ambulance! This guy is just... Tr Zombie Braden is tripping the hell out right now. This guy is totally possessed. The spirit from... From Cloud Z has tried to jump into that zombie. Oh, he had some silver on him too. Interesting. Oh, and he had a diamond on him. And some old cash. Never a dull moment around here. So is this a, a regular ambulance? We got two regular ambulances here. So, okay, we take your pick. We got two ambulances to choose from here. They're a little worse for the wear, but they're both operational at least. Now, if I had to say, this is probably a glitch, so I'm not going to take advantage of it. We're gonna put those away, and I'm gonna report that over to Ramsey. Hey everyone, just me in editing here, and I talked to Furious Ramsey about finding these working ambulances, and indeed, this is a feature of the mod. You are able to find fully functional, fully fueled vehicles out there in the wild, and so what I'm gonna do is, in the next episode, I'm just going to go ahead and drop another ambulance out here, and we'll just pretend like this never even happened. Okay, I just caught a glimpse through the trees of all of these solar panels here at this solar powered farm or or whatever this you'd call this. I guess just like a house it seems. But I wanted to see if this has forged iron in it. Oh no, I just totally ripped it off. Like I can take it with me. Uh, that's nice. Are these, do these have sell value? What are these worth? No sell price. Okay, we'll scratch that. We're gonna have a difficult time getting forged iron. I don't know if that's made in the furnace or if it's made at the blacksmith thing, but uh, we're gonna need a table saw before we can make the boards to make the furnace. So, hmm, a bit of a conundrum here. What are we gonna do? There's a lumber mill right there. Oh, you know what? I remember this place and there are, there's like three table saws that are in here and I'm gonna have myself at least one of them. Let's just drop off here for a second, and no, no. Halt. Resume. Halt. Full control. Full control, come back here. You just stay put right here. We're gonna kill this zombie, and then I'm gonna start dumping inventory. And we're gonna find out if there's a table saw in here somewhere. Something right here, uh-oh. 
shush. Don't wake your friends up, please. Yep, just sit on your butt there. That's fine. Oh, I've drawn the pigs. Pigs in the pen, though. It's, oh my god, he's got a lot of hit points. This is not working. Okay, just gonna do a smash and grab now. What is that? Was that a workbench? What is this? That's the, uh, whatever it is. The, uh, oh, the blacksmith thing. That's a good find. Okay, if you could take him out. Oh, no ammo. Great. Good. Still, oh my god, there was a major collapse. Is this a freaking wandering horde now of all times? I'm trying to do a sneaky stealth mission here. Oh, what's in this? Something good, please. Something, uh, first aid kit. That is good. Please follow me. We're gonna have to probably get a move on here a little bit. Okay, we're doing great so far. Hold your ground. Yep, fire and maneuver. You got the right idea. Whoa, that's how you do it. Ride the construction worker. <laughs> I love it. Okay, that could have just been a trigger or it could have been a whole horde. There's still a couple zombies trickling in here. With uh, all the firepower here. Oh, I'm a witch doctor level two. I was just gonna say it's hard to level up the melee stuff, but there we go. I think I did just level up my scythe skill or sickle skill, if you will. And a couple of zombies are over there. Okay, we are looking for... There are wolves over there, I think. Yes, there are. There's wolves in the cage over there. That's what the zombies are after. We are looking for a table saw. There's one right there. Give me this. This is not a real table saw, I think. I think this is just something that you like wrench regular. Uh, it did give me a circular saw blade though, which is maybe a component to craft a table saw or a circular saw. I'm kind of still working on the terminology here. Okay, don't go down there. There's Grace down there. There's a... Oh, there's a cement mixer over there. How am I encumbered again? Oh, it's because I pro wait, I got a bunch of important notes that I, uh, oh my goodness, a horror panther. Give me that. This is my special pet for being in the, uh, the witch doctor class. Shadow. We'll give you another new name here shortly, but for now, let's see if, yes, this is working. Oh, it takes a battery, which I, I do have a battery and the animals are kind of loose, although, you know what? I've got the horror panther now. Shadow. I kind of want to see what he can do. I think you got now. Shadow, go. Nope. Shadow, go get the wolf. Nice. Wolf battle or panther versus wolf fight. Oh, I love the sound too. Nice. Oh, and I just converted him somehow. I'll, even though I didn't drink the brew. <laughs> Thanks. Having one of his insanity moments. I guess we're pretty much fully clearing this place out at this point. I never actually did find the main loot here, so it might be worth kind of poking in here and seeing if I can find it. Oh, I see what it is. Oh my! Bad. Holy crap, I totally almost bought the farm. Uh, when Shadow attacks a zombie, sometimes it turns over to being controlled by me, which is kind of cool, actually. I like that. What I don't like is being, like, mega encumbered like this. So, what can I get rid of? Oh, look at this. Black magic bolt. That's a crossbow bolt that I can launch at someone and get a mind control buff onto him. And nothing much going on here. Some health supplies, hopefully. Yep. Ooh, antibiotics. Nice. Does that maybe mean that the loot is in here? Or this looks like a very suspicious pile of hay. Let me take care of this for a second. I see concrete. Yeah, this is where it is right here. Oh, crap. I can't pick that open either, can I? Oh, geez. 21,000 hit points. I have no dynamite. Is there maybe a button here somewhere? Because... Breaking it open is just simply gonna take too long. I'll maybe keep it in mind and we can revisit this in a couple of days, maybe when we get some dynamite. Oh, look at that, a propane tank sitting in that barbecue grill right there. All right, it's been a pretty fun day so far, but let's go ahead and go home and we'll sort out the crafting station situation <laughs> and see if we can get started on some construction after that. Holy crap, what happened? I hear monsters. Um, oh, is that him over there? Ooh, gonna have to just kite these guys. Oh, hello there. Just gonna have to kite him around. I'm too encumbered right now to even move. However, he's looking like he wants to just go up into the base, which would be absolutely terrible. 
Yep, just let my, my allies here do all the work, and I will take all the glory. Oh, here he is right here. Zombie leader Mateo. I guess he just got absolutely gunned down by our soldiers up here. Nice. Alex, stop breaking stuff over here. I'm gonna blow you to hell. Stop it. Okay, you are officially an enemy. Get out of here. I, don't, I just don't understand why you are insisting on doing this. You know, we could be friends, but you just... Oh, you're lucky. Oh, screw it. Dead. Take that. All right, everyone's stationed up. It just ticked nightfall. I've put everything away and gotten organized. And I wanted to have a quick look here at the crafting stations. I was looking at the furnace. We still can't do that. We need the wooden planks. So that's going to be a bit of an issue because we don't have the table saw. And we didn't find one. We found the saw, but it wasn't the actual table saw. So we still have to work on getting that. In order to unlock the schematic, we'd have to go back to the wasteland to get the circular saw. What we do have is a repairable chemistry station. We have a repairable cement mixer, a repairable workbench. Nice. And the repairable forge. So if we can't do the furnace, maybe we can do one of those tonight. The forge requires a log. A wood log. Let's try these trees. I don't like these trees anyway. Yes, I got two wood logs out of that. Perfect. Okay, so now that I got the log, I can make the forge. Excellent. Start on that. The chemistry station will require, of course, wooden planks and the forged steel. We don't have that. Or broken glass as well. The cement mixer will require more forged steel. Otherwise, we're good. And lastly, the workbench is going to require more forged iron, which will require the forge. Oh, and more wood planks. So the biggest shortfall right now is the stupid table saw. Ah, crap. And we were just in the area too. We'll have to go out there and do that first thing tomorrow morning then. The shredder we could do here in a minute once we get some more forged iron. And we need the shredder to make more cobblestone. We shred the large rocks down into cobblestone rocks. And then we will need the furnace to actually make the cobblestone cube shapes. Oh boy. So we might have to make a base out of wood. I was hoping to just make it make the whole base out of cobblestone shapes, but I'm not sure if we're gonna get far enough tomorrow to do that. Uh-oh. Yeah, we might have to build the base tomorrow out of wood, and <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think that's the trick Don't here. In terms of the horde base, I was kind of thinking what we could do is we could station all of the soldiers right up here and like point them this way, and we make like a nice catwalk for the zombies to go all the way down this way, like up at the same level that we're on right now, and then wrap it around to like a fighting position out here on the front, and... Uh, Probably gonna have to carve up some of these stairs. Man, that would take a while, wouldn't it? Uh, we're never gonna be secure here, though, until we carve out the stairs. It's just, it's inevitable. We have to do it eventually. Okay, well, at the very least, here is the forge. We can drop this down. How about right there? Move the plant and... Forged iron, right there. We can make a whole bunch of it. Oh, finally, perfect. Although there was that one quest where I have to have the forged iron on me. Just heard the tick for it. Which was that? Oh, we just have to talk to the traitor now. That mission is now complete and we will get the forge schematic for that. What do you know? So let's proceed with the forged iron for tonight and I'm gonna grab the pickaxe and I'm gonna start knocking out these stairs. And that's it right there. We've knocked out all of the stairs. We are now fully secure up here. That means it's probably going to mess up the zombie pathing a little bit. They're not going to want to come around to the front. So maybe if we're not fighting the horde, we'll put down a temporary system so that the zombies think they can get in here. We can pull them into the fatal funnel. But otherwise on horde night, we're going to make a nice, you know, corridor set up here. So we have a nice open line of fire for all of our soldiers. So the only thing left to do for tomorrow is to make sure that we can start production on... Wooden planks, we'll need the circular saw for that, and then we'll fight the horde, we'll build the base, and then we'll fight the horde. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.